The movie I want to review today is the story of a Holocaust survivor. It's the story of a witness, a story of faith, courage, and forgiveness. It's a love story. It's Sabina. I want the same things every girl wants. And then a little bit more. I want you to meet some more. Oh. He's every bit as ambitious as you. <laughs> Who's this? She is my niece, Sabina Oster. My mother is nagging me to get married. She's even picked out a girl. That sounds very nice for you. What do you think? I think my mother should ask me that question. Your mother's gonna kill me. SS can be looking for you today. I'm not hiding. And you should. Uh, since these have been a bomb band? We can get you to the border if we leave now. You know this is ridiculous. I'm collecting all the verses in the Bible that tell us not to be afraid. I think I might need to leave a moment there. If we stay. I'll follow the others into prison. It will be the end of our life together. Whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. We believe this or we don't. I think we have to stay. We have a job to do. Hello, my name is Stephen, and this is Faith Ministries. As you I'm sure you are well aware, there are a lot of Christian movies out there. Christian movies are made many years ago and modern ones made recently. Some of them are quite good. Well, unfortunately, many of them are rather cheesy and you wonder why you actually stop to watch them. But Sabina, the movie, has been shown across theatres in America recently and is available online on the Voice of Martyrs website for streaming, or can also be ordered as a DVD. Sabina is a winner of the best feature film in the Christian Worldview film of 2021. It rises above being good into a class of excellence. There is nothing cheesy or corny or lame about this movie whatsoever. The movie is written and directed by John Grutus, and it's a powerful film that transports us back to the era just before the Second World War and then into the Second World War in the country of Romania in Europe. It's the story, the true story, of a woman, a woman tortured for Christ. The story of two non-practicing Romanian Jews, Richard and Sabina Werbrandt who find their Messiah and who find a purpose and a calling bigger and more fulling, fulfilling than either of their own lives. As her atheist husband turns to God, initially Sabina is vehemently opposed to Christianity in any form. In fact, I believe she's opposed to any form of religion. And what is portrayed at the beginning of the film is that she and her husband, all they wanted to do was have fun live a life of luxury, a life of fun, a life of partying. But finding faith in Jesus, along with her husband, they find purpose in their lives and in their imprisonment and ministry in both Nazi and in communist occupied Romania. You know, without question, Sabina is one of the most important and influential women of the 20th century. Without her, 
many thousands of people would not have survived the concentration camps and even death. Without her, many men would not have come to know Jesus as their Lord and Saviour. She exemplifies a life given to God through a world filled with evil, violence and hatred. And she walks out her destiny in love, in kindness and forgiveness. She was a talented. She was smart. In fact, she was studying physics at the university. But all that became nothing under a Nazi-occupied Romania. But she found a life of love, purity, forgiveness and peace after living a life of hedonism and materialism. She exchanged rejection and injustice for a life of forgiveness. God brought about greatness in her life through humility, through her trusting God and believing that what is written in the Bible is true and that in fact we are meant to live our lives as Jesus lived. She was able to face the enemy that enveloped her country, the enemy that killed millions of Jews. She faced them with love and she fought back against the people, against the injustice, against the darkness, against the people, the soldiers who killed her father, her mother, her sisters and her little brother. With the force of love and forgiveness, where there was darkness, she brought the light and the love of God. Brutally thrown into prison, yet continuing to pray for her jailers. In the movie, at one point, they were driving their car and they came across a checkpoint, realizing that these soldiers were Nazis and that they were checking passports. And their passports were marked as Jews. Even though they had given their lives to the Lord and they called themselves Christians, as far as the state was concerned, they were Jewish. What were they to do? Sabina opens her Bible and she reads, Whoever would save his life shall lose it. But whoever will lose his life for my sake, says Jesus, will find it. She then turns to her husband and says, We believe this or we don't. We have a job to do. And with that, they miraculously pass through the checkpoint. Sabina and her husband, they didn't try and run away or hide their faith or escape the persecution. But they lost their lives for the sake of Christ. And in doing so, touched thousands of people and experienced the miraculous intervention of God in their own lives. All our lives remain us. Now we're Jews only. Christian, really. You are now men and wife. Zinzi Zabina von Bran. A venit vremea pentru un nou spirit în România. Cu prieteni noi! Cu Hitler și Mussolini! I'm collecting all the verses in the Bible that tell us not to be afraid. Sabina! Richard! I think I might need to lead them all of them. You know, in our own countries, especially in places like Australia or America or England, we may have been spared this form of persecution for our faith so far. But there are many of our brothers and sisters in the Lord who have not been spared. And even today, they are being tortured. They're being persecuted for their faith right now. Christians in Chinese prisons. Christians in prisons and camps across North Korea and Christians who are being hunted and slaughtered in countries within Africa. While we are able to do so with relative freedom, let us support and pray for them while it is yet day. Sabina is a powerful film. 
one that will challenge your Christian walk, your faith, and your life. I've viewed this film twice already, and both times I was deeply impacted within my heart, and I came away marveling at their faith, their courage, their devotion to the people around them and to serving God. I found myself asking, Lord, what would I have done in that situation? Lord, what do you want me to do today in my life? It's a beautiful film, beautifully filmed, beautifully directed and produced, and the actors do a, such a marvellous job. But one thing, don't forget, is to bring your tissues. Thank you for watching this video. Please like it, subscribe and share it with your friends so more people can see it. And until next time, God bless.